Welcome to Game Time Glizzies. It's a game where you run a hot dog stand. After Steam saw me play Supermarket Simulator for <laughs> hours, it said play this one too, so here I am. Let's run the crap out of this hot dog stand. A hot dog is not a sandwich. I agree. I would agree with that statement. That's a good statement to have in your game. Employees must wash hands before returning to work. Already very unrealistic. Answer the phone. Hello, phone guy. Hey, welcome back. What's happening? How was the trip? That was fine. Did I respond to him? Did I hit A? I gotta tell you, you're gonna okay, it's like space for next line. Gotcha. You know, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, I didn't do too well to stand. Yeah, the uh, power kept going out, and uh, those damn kids kept shooting pucks and breaking all the appliances. And I, I know there's a repair kit, but I don't know how to use it. I also messed up a lot of orders, and uh, you got a lot of bad reviews. Mm. Oh, yeah, and this guy, Travis, or Trevor from the bank, yeah, he kept calling you. Uh, he's basically saying you gotta pay it's kind of weird how it doesn't go automatically. I kind of wish it would just go to the next slide automatically. Prep your stand. You have some time to prep your stand before your shift starts. Use time wisely. A well-prepped stand can make or break your shift. Warm the buns. Grab a package of buns and place them in the warmer. Then put the dogs on the grill. Then assemble the glizzy. Add toppings to the glizzy. Serve the customer a glizzy. Place on the tray and ring the bell. Gotcha. All right, let's do it. Game time started. Here's my buns. Put them in the old bun warmer. Oh, no, put it back in. It's not warm. It's not warm. Well, it's going to be a cold glizzy. One of my famous floor dogs. Oh, hang on. Game time started. I guess I don't want to put it on the floor. That music makes it sound like as the game is going. I got glizzies on the grill. I think the grill has room for more glizzies. Let's get some more glizzies on there. Oh yeah, it's glizzed up. Don't need those. Uh, let's get a ketchup and a mustard. Taco Town. Oh, those are my rival stores, I think. This is my rival stores. So order ready. I'm not. I didn't. Hang on. I gotta make the glizzy. Crap. Game time glizzy's negative review. I just started. It's my first day. Here, have a mustard glizzy. It's all yours, buddy. Why can't I? Did he order a specific kind? Why can't I put it on the tray? Here, take it. Take the glizzy. I'm getting destroyed in the reviews. Do I have to put it on a tray? Maybe is there like a tray I gotta use? Repair. Oh, whatever this is is out of order. My metal tray is out of order. I repaired something, maybe? Okay. There's an iPad. Repair. I have a hundred bucks. Well, first I gotta figure out what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Leave tablet. Why is it S leave tablet? This feels sellable, right? Is it not cooked all the way? Did I not cook the glizzy all the way? Why can't I give it to the guy? Here, take it. I don't want it. Game time glizzy's negative review again. Order ready. Is there like an iPad telling me the order? Do they want a specific glizzy? It's just playing epic music. It's playing like the impossible quiz music. Order ready. I don't understand what is going on. I get the... I guess get the bun out first, right? Then get the glizzy. Do you want this? How do I give it? I don't understand how to give it to the customer. Oh. Was that good? Was that a good sound? You want a ketchup glizzy? Is that what you want? You want ketchup instead? Is that your preference? What is this? fries. My fryer is busted, so I don't need fries. That's a really small fry bag. It's like a medium serving. What's in here? Anything good? That's just the bathroom. Al Dente got another good... Oh, oh there you go. You gotta click the screen. Okay, you click the screen. That would have been good to know. Plain dog. Here you go. A classic glizzy. 
What X? What do you mean X? The cla- Oh, they want two classics. Okay, they wanted two classics instead of one classic. Alright, what is the classic? Is the classic gonna be ketchup or mustard? The classic is ketchup and mustard, gotcha. Hopefully I have mustard enough enough food for you. There we go. That's how you do it. So maybe you want to make a bunch of them ahead of time and prepare. The classic. One mustard on this. That's all I need. Just a single mustard. Now I got it. Now I know how to do it. I actually love disgusting hot dogs like this. Yeah, I would eat a hot dog from here. Plain dog. A plain dog. Who orders a plain dog? Who eats a hot dog with nothing on? Are you a psychopath? What kind of a psycho are you? I'm gonna run out of dogs on the roller soon. Answer the phone. Hi, this is Trevor from H Financial. Okay. Uh, just one last reminder that you are still overdue on your loan by... Overdue on my loan. All right, what's the payoff? Uh, it here. Game time glizzies. The voice acting on the phone guy is not bad. Pay us in full. Your main objective is to pay back your loan to keep game time glizzies in business. You must pay back the loan in full at the end of shift seven or it's game over. Use the tablet to pay your loan. Pay off your loan by the end of shift five and you win. But it said seven. Is it seven or five? Unlocking appliances allows you to serve more expensive items and you pay the loan down faster. Gotcha. How much money did I make today? Like three dollars? <laughs> oh boy. I got three dollars of game time glizzies a day. Up, oh, up to the bathroom. Are you the exit? Yeah. Money earned, thirty-four dollars. A thousand dollars doing six days. Okay. It's not going well so far. That shift is short, dude. That's a short shift. Especially when you don't know how to play the game yet. Answer the phone? No thanks. I have a plan. I'm gonna just make a bunch of hot dogs before I answer the phone. But it won't let me do that, so I guess I'm not gonna do that, actually. Well, 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 well look who's back. Hey, you know, no one wants to eat those disgusting things you call glizzies anyway. They only go to your stand when my stand or taco town is full. So, let me make this clear. This drink ain't big enough for all of us. Your competition wants to kill you? Watch out the ratings board to see where you stack up, uh-huh. And your competition will sabotage you. Yeah, they'll sabotage me. I use the repair kit. Ace will do your dirty work for you. Hire him. Oh, my God. I can hire a hitman. Good evening, 47. Our client is the glizzy stand. Hey, give me all the buns. Or is it infinite bun supply? Yeah, it's infinite buns. I wonder if there's like a cleanliness factor. Will they care if all their glizzies are just on the floor? Glizzy on the floor. Glizzy on the floor. My right, hot dog blast. Do I have customers yet? I hope not. Just what you want to hear from any business. Oh crap, customers. Oh no. Business would be great if it weren't for these customers. Taco Town getting good reviews. I right, load that bun warmer. Let's warm him up. Does that whistle mean an order? Do the buns have to be warmed, honestly? Does the food have to be cooked? Can I serve like a 7-Eleven hot dog? What the? Here comes Springtrap. Do, 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 do. Check the fuse box. Where's the fuse? Are you the fuse box? What the? What? What is this? What is this? I was not prepped. I was not prepped for what this is. Match them up. Match them up. Okay. I'm sorry, ma'am. What? Do you oh crap. What would you like to have, ma'am? Ma'am, please come back to my glizzy store. Well, while she's gone. Would you order food from a hot dog stand who just lost power? Oh, what is this? Is this a sabotage? It might be sabotaging me. Maybe the al dente's pasta is sabotaging my power, which I don't like this at all. 
What do you want? They didn't tell me what you want. I had no time. I can't believe my business is unsuccessful. Looks at the floor full of hot dogs. I was much more effective at Supermarket Simulator than this one. All right, what's your order? What do you want, sir? The classic and a plain dog coming right up. Classic. Classic. Stop doing that. I don't like that feature. Can you turn that off? Maybe I hire a saboteur of my own. Uh, two. I can unmatch the numbers. All right, let's go ahead and hire Hitman to go ahead and kill Al's pasta or whatever. So they stop annoying me. Loan pay, I don't want loan pay. Messages, I'm here. Yeah, power outage, okay, yeah, so it is them. Robbery? I want to rob him. I want to kill him. I want him out of the game for good. Plain dog, plain dog classic. Why is the hitbox on a hot dog so small? I should have tongs. That's why I need some tongs. So far, I've been bare handing these hot dogs. Plain, plain classic. Okay, okay. I can do it. It is possible. I have a feeling I'm not going to win on this run. I might have to play this game again, now that I know how it actually works. What, what do you mean no? Oh, there was two, I gave him, didn't give him enough. User error moment. Please grab the bun. Toast him up. What the? You broke my stand. Repair. <laughs> the grill is busted. All right, the grill is back. All right, what do you want, sir? Plain dog, classic dog. I have nothing cooked. Give me the glizzies. Do they have to be cooked? They have to be cooked. You gotta cook the hot dog. What kind of business is this? Stupid food and drug administration. Regulating my services. Yeah, you're not getting the hot dog, buddy. It's not happening. You got no chance of serving that order. And stop turning the power off. Can I turn that setting off? Is it a setting? It's not a setting, it's just part of the game. Cause when I play like a like one of these like tycoon business type games, I don't want to deal with a bunch of crap. I don't want to deal with this crap with the fuse box. I just want to run the glizzy stand. Alright, customers, let's see it. Wow, Game Time Glizzies has one star. Is that why I have no customers? It's because they have more stars than me? Do I gotta hire the hacker to like unstar them? Please open. Ace is offline. Always oh, offline. He's dead. He's probably working for the competition. I think the shift is over. Another good shift. Another excellent day at the Glizzy stand. We made like <laughs> 50 bucks. Use prep time wisely. A well prep stand is the key to a successful shift. Okay, this time I'll be smarter. I'm gonna get into the flow now. Nope, put it back in. I can't put it back in. I guess it just toasted up instantly. I guess the buns are like instantly toasted. Get those hot dogs on there. Toss them on the floor. You don't really need that many condiments. Maybe I should buy the fries. Maybe I shouldn't buy the fries, though, because I can barely even handle the hot dogs. I don't have a soda fountain. We got nothing. All we have is constant and unrelenting power outages that will never go away. So is, it, is somebody like sneaking in through my employee restroom and rearranging my fuse box? How can I help you today? Just one classic? That's easy. What? What do you mean no? That's what I gave him. Oh no, the cl I keep forgetting that the classic and plain dog are different. I'm not cut out for business. I should never have gotten a loan from Loan Sharks Incorporated. That's easy, yeah, hubris. Big hubris on that one. 
Here we go. Got like an assembly line going. All right, what do you want? You want the classic? That's fine, that's fine. Nope, give me the cats up. Here we go. One classic for you. Go ahead and fix the hot dog stand. Never knew the hot dog business was so cutthroat. All right, you're done. You are done. Hello, Mr. Customer. Plain dog? That's easy. For once, that one really is easy. All right, like 10 bucks. 10 bucks sale on the hot dog. On that plain dog. Stop doing that. Oh, my God. I really do not like that. That's I don't like that at all. Put them on the grill. Rev up those fryers, boys. The fryer is still offline. Please don't do that. Plain dog. I already have plain dog. It's all yours. Still one star? Come on, I've served like three customers a day. Three sales is huge in the hot dog world. Actually, it's not because hot dogs are so small. They're so small scale. This is definitely not a profitable business right now. Put him on that grill. What can I get you, sir or madam? The classic and the plain dog? Well, currently none of my hot dogs are cooked. Oh, I have one cooked. Hang on. Our classic floor hot dogs are actually cooked. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta wait a few minutes for me to make another one, or I can get you one off the floor. Is that okay? 20 bucks? Okay, hang on. This low might pay itself back after all. If the fuse box stops happening. The home team wins. Good job, home team. I think calling it a business might be a bit generous. No, it's going good. I got 100 bucks, and I failed 11 orders. Ele I failed 11 orders? I don't think I failed that many. Did I really fail 11? That's so many. That's so many to fail. What the heck happened here? What exploded? Answer the phone? No, I will not. Just kidding, I will. It was a joke. No, game time glizzies will do it. I will survive. All right, a well-prepped shift is the key to success, as they said. Why, why can't I do it? Oh, the fuse is off. Of course. Of course it is. All right, the buns are warming. Electrician simulator. Yeah, really. It's more of an electrician game with a side of glizzies. I did kind of waste the first, like, two days, though, like, not knowing how to play, which is not ideal. Please stop throwing frying pans at my only item I can use. No customers yet. Time to repair. I didn't even have time to make any of the other stuff. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to expand into a new food category. But this one's on the fritz. Oh, we got to order. Three hot dogs. Oh, my God. What is this? Some kind of a hot dog stand? And since my grill got smashed, my hot dogs are all over the place. That's good. There's your classic. There's your plain. There's your plain. 25 bucks. Okay. That's pretty huge. That's a huge percentage of my debt, actually. Plain dog. My dogs are killing me. Right back to the storeroom. Get some floor buns going. Seems like a predatory loan. I mean, the phone guy said that I was like three months overdue. So three months overdue on a thousand dollars for a business is pretty bad.
Was that an order I heard? No, it was not. I keep thinking the hockey whistle is an order, but it's not. It's a hockey whistle. That's an order right there. I heard that one. What can I get for you? Just one classic coming right up. Wait, crap. I gotta put the condiments on first. Condiments of the chef. You left already. That was so fast. That was so fast. What the heck? That was swift. And that's in the register now. I, oh, I got it back. Nice. If I just leave these on the stand. That's what I should do is prep them ahead of time. Let's get some classics going. What can I get for you? Plain dog. Here you go. <laughs> it's just sitting there. All yours. Yeah, I think pre-preparing them is a strat. Waste of a toasted bun. How unfortunate. I'm prepping, I'm prepping. I need like a multiplayer lobby of this. I need more than one person running this store. The classic, the classic, the classic. Here's one. Here's two. And here's three. Look at that. Gonna need more classics on the grill. Ah, oh, crap. I order already. I'm not ready, though. Are you guys open? Oh, uh, yeah, technically. Technically, we're open, but we will not be getting... What? Oh, the clack... Dude, why do I keep confusing the classic for plain dog? That's a big mistake. Here lies the glizzy stand. He kept forgetting he only had two products. And he forgot which one was which constantly. And I just got sabotaged again. Let's go ahead and repair. Alright, what do you want? Plain dog, plain dog. All my dogs got tossed to the wind. Are you a dog that is cooked? Nice. There we go, salvage that. It's very annoying how when the stand gets killed, all the hot dogs just fly off. All right, that was, uh, how many orders did I miss today? I feel like that was better than before. I failed, dude, where am, when am I failing 13 orders? It doesn't feel like I'm getting, I, if you ask me how many orders did I get, like 10? How did I, how did I fail 13? When did that even happen? This is not going well. I'll never pay off my predatory loan sharks. Still got one star. It's a multitasking simulator, and I'm not good at multitasking. I'm already ignoring Twitch chat. I don't know if you can tell Twitch chat, but I haven't read like any chat messages. Because I'm dialed in on this, as sad as that sounds, considering my performance. I'm trying to pay back my glizzy loan. I put him on the burner. Here we go, we're good. What do you want, what do you want, what do you want? The classic plain dog and all my hot... See, what? what is this? I don't like this at all. The competition sabotage. Like, why? Why? Why is that here? And all my hot dogs are gone now because I got sabotaged, so I'll fail that order. That's good. How long does a dog take to cook? Can I possibly recover from that? Definitely not. Okay. Oh, hang on. I have some hot dogs on the floor. I can use the floor dogs. I will fail this order. This is a sacrificial order. It's a stray hockey puck that breaks the grill. Oh, that makes sense, but still. I still think that it shouldn't. Not that it shouldn't be here. It's fine. Just give me a toggle. Give me a toggle for baby mode, please. I need baby mode. Plain dog, classic, classic. Two classics. Squirt, squirt. And a little squirt, squirt. Can you carry two at once? You cannot. Put them on the tray. Cook them up. What can I get you, sir? The classic plain dog, the classic. Classic order. 
A classic order from a classic customer. Customers are always asking, how do you make your plain dog? It's a family recipe. An old family secret. Involving a roller tray and a mustard bottle. All right, not bad, not bad. Also, I'm charging these people $25 for a hot dog. $25 for three hot dogs is too much. So, you know, I, I understand why Game Time at Glizzy's has one star. They're charging $25, they're like $10 for one hot dog. I don't care how classic your hot dog is, that's, that's too much. You can't be charging that much. I guess I'm missing orders when I'm making the hot dogs, like when I'm tending the grill. I guess that's when the orders are coming in and I'm failing. Can I possibly get her? No way, there's no way. It'd be nice if I could like wield the ketchup and mustard on like a hotkey, like one and two, like a Call of Duty gun. Remember, switching to your mustard is faster than reloading. Classic plain dog. Lucky for you, I actually have some hot dogs in stock. Oh uh, yeah, isn't this a hot dog stand? It is. Have a good day. Plain dog. Plain dog. The classic. See, when you have the items prepared and ready to go, it's easy. The problem is finding time to do that. How on earth are you supposed to sell like 20 other items? I can't even get a handle on the hot dog business. There's a drink business, there's a fries business. What? That counts as a fail, that shouldn't count as a fail. I had like one second to give her the order. How's my loan looking? How much money do I have, like 200 bucks? 300 bucks, okay, it's not enough at all. I'm definitely gonna lose. 1990 oh, more. Oh, can I play as that guy? Where's the loan shark simulator? I want to play as a guy who gives the loan and sabotages the fuse box. Yeah, 15 failed is an insane number. I guess... I guess while I'm cooking the food is when those orders are coming in and failing. I guess there's a very small window to accept the order. I bet you can go on YouTube and look up YouTube gamer guy playing this and just like win on the first try. I'm like, this is this game is too easy. They gotta add more content to this. Meanwhile, I'm over here like, I can't, it broke my grill. I can't even win if it broke my grill. I probably don't need to get an extra ketchup and mustard. I've never run out of those in my whole existence. My brief time running this hot dog stand. Cozy Creeper, thank you for subscribing. You can be... Ugh. That was Steve Minecraft getting killed by a creeper, if you couldn't tell. The classic, a classic dog. A true piece of America, right there. Delicious. A classic dog for a classic customer. I think the difficulty curve is a little much, or is just I suck? I feel like I had like the first one or two days like not knowing how to play. That really hurt my chances of winning here. Because if I knew what I was doing from the very start, that would have helped. But for the entirety of day one, I was like, how do I accept the order? Here you go, plain dogs. You're my favorite customer. Put those buns in. Get some more glizzies. Plain dogs. Stop doing that. And see, now I have, since I have to repair the grill, I might have time to still get this order in. Might be possible. Nope, it failed. Like that, that's just RNG. That's not, I can't do anything to not die from that. And now all my glizzies are gone. I'm gonna scavenge them from the floor like a savage beast. The classic. One classic coming up. This one's been sitting around for a while. 
That's a real shelf warmer right there. Come on, Glizzy's cook faster. Can I just turn the heat up on this grill? Can I turn the roller to like 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit? That'll toast them up. That'll put some pep in your step. Let's make three classics. The classic. Just as I predicted. Here you go. At least the sabotage stopped. After I complained about the sabotage, it like hasn't happened. They like stopped sabotaging the fuse box after like day two. That was weird. Can you get an upgrade that puts a guard up? Yeah, really. I need a hockey goalkeeper to stand in front of my stand. Do I have a glizzy pack around here? Classic and the plain dog. You got it. One classic. Oh, I forgot to put the plain dog on the thing. That's a skill issue. I'm just not cut out for this line of work. You see, the good thing about Supermarket Simulator is that you can, like do as much prep work as you want before the shift starts. In this, you just, like, go. You just gotta go. Which is more accurate to real life, although I haven't ever seen a hot dog grill get destroyed by a hockey puck in real life. Which I hope to change in the near future. It's a bucket list item for me. The classic. A classic dog for you. And all my glizzies are off the stand again. Doesn't matter. Can I just leave them on here? That's, that'd be more realistic. Just leave them on overnight. When I come back tomorrow, they're ready to go. Hmm. Thousand dollars doing one day. I have a feeling that I will not win. Let's do it. Let's go out with style. Let's make a valiant attempt for the glizz and the glamour. I will be the best store in town. I think Big Tony's gonna take your femurs off, yeah. Yeah, come on, Fat Tony, I swear. I need the loan for the glizzy stand. I'll get you the money, I promise. All right, cooked up glizzies, they're cooked. We gotta order. What do you want? Three classics, oh my God, what am I made of mustard? Better cut the mustard. I better pass mustard. That's the extent of my mustard puns. Gotta refill the mustard pun dispenser. There you go. Usually when you work a real job like this, going to the back to get more stuff is the best part. Because you can go in the freezer and sit on your phone. But in this, going to the back is like a huge waste of time. It's so stressful. What do you want? Classic plain dog, plain dog? Okay, I won't forget. I will not forget which dog is which this time. I will correctly identify. Where did the ketchup go? There it is. Classic floor ketchup. Delish. I was cut the mustard a pun? Yeah, I guess it's not really a pun, is it? It's just a saying. It's just a colloquialism. It's just homespun wisdom, I suppose. And you want three classics? I can't even get you one classic. Can you not put condiments on it after you picked it up? Is that a... Okay, you can put it back down, good. I can make these classics. And now I... Lose. I just lose because you can't recover from that in time. Okay. Very cool. And all my items that I cooked were gone. Are gone. They're not there. This is like a stress simulator. Some of these tycoon games are like a fun one. This this is a job that like accurately mimics the stress of working at a food stand. This is like a nightmare game. I wish Poppy Playtime would show up and kill me. I wish Huggy Wuggy would turn off the fuse box and just chomp me. Plain dog. Well, if I have some ready, I'll let you know. You're supposed to do all this. I already literally can't do the first 
phase. And you're supposed to also have a soda stand. I guess if you have other items, then you're not constantly waiting on the hot dogs to be cooked. Which might have helped. But it is day seven. It is far too late to re-strategize. Squirt, squirt. Do I have at least two stars? No, still one star. I'm still a one star business. Maybe something happens when you fail. Yeah, if I don't get a game over, that'd be nice. If there's a game over, that would kind of suck. But I'm expecting there will be one. Because they said they were going to repossess game time glizzies. Please don't do that. I gotta get a different location for my stand. That's why Al's pasta is thriving and I'm struggling. He's not right behind one of the goals like I am. I'm getting slap shotted multiple times a day. Plain dog, well, I'll see what I can do, mister. This may be the last hot dog I ever sell at my humble shop. My humble stand is going out of standness. Exit the shift and end your day. All right, time to meet my maker. You failed to pay off the loan. You are now dead. Okay, I read a Steam review that says the way you win is just by spamming the steal option on the iPad, which I didn't use a single time. Typical Obo for getting the core mechanic. Yeah, I didn't even touch that iPad, but the iPad is how you win. So let's go ahead and do that. Get those hot dogs up and running. Never mind. Hello, phone guy. I don't want to hear what you have to say. I know how to play the game. Well, that, that's not true. I don't know how to play the game. I have a theoretical degree in glizzies. How much money do you start with? Because I got to hire the hacker. Game time at Glizzy's. Not repair. I want to go to the uh, the robbery stage. The robbery stage. Oh, he's offline. Okay. Maybe he comes online on day two. Plain dog, plain dog. Can do. That is possible. Now that I know the ultimate tactic, I simply cannot fail. Hello? Your job is a monitor the hot dogs, and the customers can uh, get a bit quirky at night. The classic. A classic dog. A classic dog for a classic customer. Yeah, I think Ace maybe doesn't come online until day two, perhaps. Just a single plain dog in this plain, plain world. Nothing out of the ordinary. Another plain dog in this plain, plain world. Two classics, uh-oh. My mustard abilities are put to the test. I don't know, if I restarted, that means the sabotage will start again, probably. That's gonna suck. Ooh, no more buns? No more buns, that's not good. That's gonna be a bit of an issue. The buns, like, warm instantly, though, so maybe I can save it? Yeah, no chance. No shot. Classic dog. Is Ace online yet is the question. Are you online yet, Ace? He's still offline. Taco Town's getting good reviews.
one plain dog for you. The classic. It's got to hold out today too when Ace comes online. And my true power will be revealed. Is the competition other food stands in the hockey rink? Yeah, it's other food stands. They give you a menacing phone call and they say, hey, you stay out of my territory. Where'd my mustard go? I mean, my ketchup. Oh, it's all, I'm not going to get that. Can I get that? There we go. Did the order fail? Come on. Ah, come on. You better want a classic. They want two classics. They want true classics. And there you go. I got a line foreman. Hang on. Things are looking up. So they have no hot dogs ready to go. Imagine not waiting 10 seconds for a hot dog. I mean, a hot dog should not take that long, though. It should be pretty fast. Let's be real. This is not exactly the most well-run establishment. And I'm out of food, so I'll fail that order. Unfortunately. We are out of glizzies, unfortunately. Yeah, one's going to fail. It's okay. It's a sacrifice. I'm sorry, customer ma'am, but you were merely a sacrifice on a way to greater things. And we're done. Okay. Pay back your loan to win. Gotcha. Can I use the iPad now? Are you online, Ace? I've got Ace on my iPad. He's offline. Okay. 200 bucks, that seems like I can probably execute the winning strategy now. Yeah, see, I made, a, I have one-fifth of the money on day one now. So now that I know how to play the game, I can probably do it. And also now that I know the ultimate tactic. Well, 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 look who's back. Yeah, shut up, Al Dente. I'm gonna make him cry. As soon as Ace gets online, you're so screwed, Al Dente. It's taking Ace a while to get online, though. He's like one of my Xbox Live friends from yesteryear. Been offline a while. Customer, customer, what can I get you? A classic dog? Oh my god. Look, it's the worst thing ever. It did stop after like the second day. Last time I played. And I failed that order, that's awesome. Ah, right, you know what? Get online, Ace. Get in here. I'm here to help, hit me up. Rob him. Robbery of El Dente's Pasta. No problem. Give me a few minutes. Okay, good. He's going to rob him. You can simply steal the money from the competition. Hopefully the point of sale still works and the power's out. It does. Nice. Okay. Plain Dog and Classic. Got one classic for you. Here is this for you. Get those fuses back online. Would it help if I got out and pushed? Plain dog, plain dog. You done yet, Ace? Did you win? No problem. Give me a few minutes. Hurry up, Ace. My entire business plan is banking on you. Hopefully you weren't too OP and you got nerfed between that Steam review being left and me playing the game. You just want playing? Oh, you want a classic as well? Uh-oh. I got no buns. I got no buns in the oven. Am 
my ultimate tactic, the bun glitch. Do I have time? Might have time. It's possible. With raw gamer skill, I can serve the hot dog. What's the ideal hot dog? Yeah, no, nothing fancy, nothing fancy. You probably just wanna... The thing is, whatever the hot dog stand has is what you want. Like, you, you, you usually can't go wrong going, give me one with everything. You usually can't go wrong getting the super loaded up hot dog. Because pretty much every ingredient that a hot dog can be topped with tastes good with every other ingredient. Yes, order's gonna fail. Hand the fuse box again. Are you done yet, Ace? He's taking forever. Do it again. Keep robbing, Ace. Keep doing it. <laughs> Keep robbing. Hurry up. Wait, rob Taco Town, too. Rob them both. Because the review said all you have to do is spam robberies and you win. So we'll see how true that is. Robbery success, you took $200 from Al Dente? Oh my god. Okay, that's how you win. But that was the uh, that was the first robbery. I ordered like six. Okay, I just robbed 100 bucks from Taco Town. So all you have to do is keep the bare minimum going in your own stand. And just rob the competition. Was that three classics? It was three classics, oh god. A large amount of classics. Why even making hot dogs? I know. Me and Ace should start the Red Hat Hacker Society. Exit the stand to exit your shift. And that's what Ace has given me. I wonder how much Ace makes by himself. He probably makes like $1,000 per robbery. He's like, yeah, here's five bucks. Money earned 262 because I robbed it all. So I can just use those to fund the next two robberies and then I'll be fine, right? So like as soon as the shift starts, I should rob Rob. And then when the robberies go through, I'll make like $300 a day. And as long as I like maintain the hot dog stand while the robberies are ongoing, I should be successful. I should find success in business that way. Good morning, Ace. Please rob Taco Town. And please rob Al Dente's Pasto. Lol, you're crazy, sure. It was that fast? That was like instant. Oh, they have no money yet because the day just started, though. Ah. They have little funding. Classic dog. I can get you a classic dog. Even when the lights are out, the classic still stands. I bet you Ace is playing both sides. Ace probably works for the competition as well. Plain dog and the classic. Give me that plain dog. Oh uh, yeah, one plain dog, that'll be $7.47. Ha 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 ha. Get it? Because of planes. Yeah, my fuse box is having a bad time. Plain dog. There you go, sir. One plain dog for you. Need to re-up on the ingredients. Boop, 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 boop. I can't do it when the fuse is off. Okay. Change the fuses back to be online. Now, like I said, put some more glizzies on that glizzy griller. Plain dog and a classic dog. And the dude, what is this power? This has to stop. It has to stop. There you go. Okay. 
My thing's busted. Believe me, they're better with the lights off anyway, yeah. You probably don't want to look too closely at the hot dog you're eating. You probably just want to chop it down. I get more robberies going. Rob Al Dente and Rob Taco Town. Get him, Ace. Take him down. Use your Ace skills. Pardon me, customer. Gotta fix the grill again. You know how these hockey pucks are. The classic. Is this one the classic? Yeah, it's one the classic. Finally, something I can handle. It's only my, like, ninth day. Cut me some slack. I just got here, and she left. Okay. She is gone. Did those hacks go through? I don't think those hacks went through. I don't think hacks number two went through. Yikes, okay. He says yikes. What do you mean, yikes? It's free money. Okay. So I have decent money now, right? Answer the phone. This is Trevor from the Loan Guys. Yes, thank you, Loan Guys. Uh, Ace is offline because the shift didn't start yet. All right. So I have what, like 400 bucks now? Maybe I won't win. Oh, and the fuse is off again. My least favorite mechanic in maybe any game of all time. Here we go. I think probably the fuse box is better than the hockey puck, though, because the hockey puck, you just have no counter. There's no, like, skill-based counter to getting it back on quickly. It's just, well, I guess we're just stuck now. I guess there goes all my glizzies. Get those buns on these mats. If the lights are off, they can't see everything on the floor, exactly. They can't see the hot dogs lying on the floor. Lying on the floor. Oh my god, like that. I don't like that. I'm opposed to that happening. Whoever play tested this for their friend and told him it was too easy. I don't like that person. Make it harder. I'm here, yeah, Rob Taco Town and rob al dente's pasta. Rob them both. Give me that funding. Ro oh, the robbery can fail? Oh, okay. So it was nerfed. The guy who wrote the Steam review and said that the robberies is the way to win, he spoiled the batch. He said robberies is the free win, so the dev made so robberies can fail. Plain dog, plain dog, plain dog. Oh my god, so boring. Got an order for a... Uh... Mr. Milk Toast. Mr. Milk Toast, please come to the stand. I'm calling you to testify. Were you at Game Time Glizzies on the night of the murder? The night the hockey puck hit the stand. Were you there? Well, yes, I was there, but I had nothing to do with said puck. I'm asking the questions here. I can't believe I got baited by a Steam review into playing another round of this. Alright, Ace. Please make it work. Let's make it happen. Give me some robberies. Robbery success? Okay, that's huge. I'm loving success. Robbery failed. Uh, excuse me, Ace. I believe I said to rob both of them. Robbery success. 300 from Taco Town. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hang on. Yo, Ace. Can I get some more robberies going? Keep on robbing. Robbery success. <laughs> okay. So even though they can fail, I think... Because think, each successful robbery gives you, like, three potential failures. So it really doesn't matter if they fail, does it? It really is not an issue at all if they fail. 
63 from Taco Town? Okay, not bad. It's only got one new robbery from Taco Town. Try again. Robbery failed. Rob Al Dente. Robbery failed. Stop failing the robbery ace. Come on. What happened to his tried and true method? Robbery failed. Come on, ace. How can you do this to me, ace? Do they have no money anymore? Maybe I took all their money. Maybe I took literally all their money. That might be what it is, because they, they do they have stats as well. I think that's what it is. I took all their money. Because they also have stats. Yeah, I took all their money because they got like 99 and 100 per the day. So maybe like two robberies a day, max. Can you pay for sabotage? Yeah, but I don't want to. I don't really think sab sabotage I'd probably gives them a bad Yelp review. But giving them a bad Yelp review would probably translate into giving me more business. And I already can't handle the amount of business that I have. And also, the less business they have, the less money I can steal from them, which is my only method of income, is theft. It's very annoying how the grill can hold, like, an odd amount of glizzies. Whereas the buns go in eight at a time. Let's get a bunch of crap out. And there's the puck. Right on time. Where'd my repair kit go? What? Where did my repair, did my repair kit? Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought it got glitched into a wall. That'd be tragic. It's actually another player. Yeah, like a competitive version of this where you can pay to sabotage your friends. Might be okay. There might be something there. Never mind. Never mind, no version of this game is good. The classic, the classic, and a plain dog. Need to hire a goalie. If you can if you could hire somebody to stand there and block the shots, that would be nice. The solution to the hockey puck is to leave as many hot dogs prepped as you can. Yeah, obviously you want them prepped. You want to be prepped on the paper, but the problem is when the thing gets smashed, you, like, lose half your hot dogs. It's very annoying. I don't know why I'm explaining this. It's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, my God. Well, at least she only ordered one, so I can at least make her one. If I can find the ketchup. There it is. Why is the ketchup always going behind the nachos? Did, did that fail already? That was so quick. All right, Ace. Ready to go, Ace. Another day, Robin Hooding it up. We steal from the rich and give to the Gliz. Robbery failed. All right. Not ideal. I mean, buns ready to go. Yeah, you want to just have a million things ready to go. But my time is very limited. Neither team in the hockey rink ever scores. The announcer says, like, it's a home team victory or it's an away team victory every once in a while. So someone is scoring. It's not me. Hack. Here we go. 100 bucks. Not bad. They have money. They got money in the till. Keep hacking them. Robbery failed. Yeah, that's got to be the balancing metric, because you can only hack money if they have money to take. I'm trying. I'm trying to give you classics. My good man, I'm too late. Uh, you know what? <laughs> you know what, hockey puck hitting the hot dog stand? This has been game time at Glizzy's. I thought I found one weird trick to win the game, but I did not. So this game is just like, it's just a stressful game. It's just very stressful. If you want to be stressed out, this is the game for you.